people, and I want to help our Democratic candidate for president make history. But you know what? I want to come home. I want to come home to this state that I love so much, California. That's Barbara Boxer making the big announcement that she will not seek re-election for the Senate out of the uh, great state of California. Political analyst John Dadian joins us here this morning to talk about uh, who might run. Why did she make the announcement now? Well, several reasons. And keep in mind, there's no such thing as an election cycle anymore. It's constant. Right. I mean, we're already into it. I mean, including all the way locally. I know some candidates. My girlfriend, uh, Gil Cabrera, took out papers this week to run for city attorney in 2016. So campaigns are already underway. A lot of the main names that you hear about are we're thinking about running for governor. So now they have to make the decision. And that's one of the reasons I think she made the announcement, to give them the flexibility to make a cogent decision. Okay, so it allows people to time to be able to make a decision. Will she endorse somebody, do you think? No, oh, no, I highly doubt it. Really? I highly doubt it. Uh, unless it looks like somebody she really doesn't uh, like to go and get in there. But again, the Democrats, to give them credit, have such a great farm team. I mean, all the candidates, which is over a dozen right now, are solid people. Normally you get a oh, name the top ones. Oh, clearly the Attorney General, uh, Kamala Harris, um, former L.A. Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa, Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom, John Chang, the Treasurer. I mean, it goes on and on. All right, can a Republican win a Senate seat out of California? Uh, it's possible. Again, one of the key factors has to be a good candidate. I mean, Meg Whitman was a bad candidate. I mean, let's, let's be very blunt about that. And so that's why uh, uh, that, that problem on that. So it has to be a good candidate. The, the big but, name being floated, Daryl Issa. Well, the other main component, other than being a good candidate, you have to have a good candidate, but then you need the resources to win. Whether or not you raise the money or put your own money in. Daryl Issa has run against Barbara Boxer before. Um, so th that, that would be a good rematch. Also, another Republican name is Carl of uh, uh, Fiorina. I think she ran a bad campaign last time, but perhaps sometimes you learn. Here's an interesting stat, Mark. Most people, now Barbara Box is the exception to this, but most people in California, we forget how big a state it is. When they run the first time, they usually lose. Diane Feinstein, Pete Wilson, I could go on and on. So uh, a lot of these people have already uh, run like once. Dale Lysa, okay. Kamala, both on Democrat and Republican side. Okay, um, let's throw a couple of uh, wild card names out there. Uh, George Clooney's name's already been floated as a celebrity who might want to get into politics. Certainly keep it in the tradition of California. If Al Franken can do it. Well, why not George Clooney? Well, Al Franken, of course, is from a northwestern state, but in California, we have a large tradition of that. George Murphy, Ronald Reagan, sure. uh, you know, it goes to, uh, people forget Clint Eastwood, Clint Eastwood was a politician, uh, mayor, uh, mayor of his city. So uh, we have a tradition of, of it. If you're one of the people that I named that are a career public servant, that you're serving statewide now, attorney general, lieutenant governor, the George Clooney has to scare you to death because that name recognition automatically puts you in the yeah, it's, it's a sad commentary, but the fact is name recognition is huge. Um, well, let's talk about one of the biggest names that got floated out there yesterday, and I don't know if it was a joke or if it was just the, uh, the liberal Democrats' idea of really getting to, in into conservatives' heads. Uh, they floated the name Michelle Obama. Oh. Any chance at all that she would do what Hillary Clinton did, go to a state that she's never lived in before, establish residence, and, and run for Senate? Snowball's ch chance in heck. Um, okay. I, yeah, I did. Uh, I did, yeah, I did there, there were several names that were floated uh, yesterday that automatically, you know, for example, one news station, not this one, uh, floated. Uh, they thought the reason that Barbara Boxer did the video was trying to give it to her grandson. Well, he can't run for another 11 years for U.S. Senate. Okay. So a, a, lot, a lot of these things are, are getting a little silly out there. It was a surprise to everybody yesterday. All right. Political analyst John Dadian, as things start to sort out, uh, we'll have you back and we'll discuss this a lot more. It's been a long Long time since there's been an open seat in California. 92. It's going to be a wild 1992 ride. 1992 was the last time. Okay. Thank you, sir.